Hi, I'm Cerise Maddock. This is your Salina Media Connection News Desk. Thanks for joining us. Election Day is November 3rd and today is a very important day. Registration deadline for voter registration is today. By mail, it has to be postmarked by October 13th and in person by October 13th. Early voting is going to start on October 14th, so you'll definitely want to get registered if you haven't. Absentee ballot deadlines requested to be received by October 27th. Return mail must be postmarked by November 3rd. The county clerk office in Salina is staying open until 8 p.m. tonight if you want to do voter registration. If you do it online, it has to be done by 11.59 p.m. Cirque Italia has sought to bring a high-class experiences to audiences all over the United States. And now it's right here in Salina. Something fun to do and something different. If you've ever dreamed on going up on a pirate adventure and discovering buried treasure, that's what this program will help you do. You can join the fun. It's at Tony's Event Center parking lot, October 15th through 18th. Today I talked to Morgan Rosenthal. She is a manager and an aerialist performer. She explains more about the show. So we are actually uh, the first traveling water circus in the United States. Um, so we are uh, a circus show. So it's, uh, you know, it's these amazing circus acts. And it's all set with our water stage. So we have a 35,000 gallon water tank underneath the stage. The stage lifts up and then we perform with the water as well. Wow. What different kinds of performances will people be able to watch you guys do? Yeah, it's with everything from aerialists to acrobats, jugglers, contortionists. We have a wheel of death act. Um, and then we also have, so we have performers from all over the world. Everything from, uh, I'm actually the only performer from the United States. Um, and then we have artists from Bulgaria, Venezuela, Mexico, Italy. Um, so it's a really uh, diverse show. You mentioned that you are a performer. Uh, tell me a little bit about what a job as an aerialist <laughs> means. Um, so I, I do an aerial act with my boyfriend. Um, so we do an aerial strap duo, which is um, it's a combination of, it's a very strength-based act, uh, but then we also combine it with dance. So it's like, a, it's an aerial dance. And I'm actually, I'm a mermaid and he's a pirate. We're doing a pirate show this year. Um, and so the show is actually a, a pirate adventure story. So our clown Rafinha, he is a, a pirate searching for buried treasure. And, uh, and the circus acts throughout the course of the show um, are some of the people that he meets along the way. That makes sense. And tell me how you fit the water in to how the show goes on in general. Well, so you know, the, the water is a really unique um, aspect of our show. Like I said, we're the first traveling water circus in the United States. And so it, it really, it adds this, this dynamic uh, to the show that is, it's just really beautiful. It, it really sets uh, a beautiful picture for all of these amazing acts that you see. Um, I noticed on your website, it said that you were able to get Okay, so my guess is people are kind of ex 
excited and really glad to see you because there hasn't been a lot of stuff to do. Are you getting kind of that feeling from your crowd? <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Um, you know, we have, uh, I mean, we are very excited to be back on the, on the road doing what we love to do and sharing with all of these individual communities. Um, in addition to that, the response from the public has been very positive. And, you know, I think that right now this is kind of something that everybody needs. Um, you know, something to bring a little bit of fun and joy to, you know, all these communities that have been struggling so much for the past, uh, you know, three, four months in particular. And so, I, I mean, I think that it's, it's, it's good for everybody and, you know, and, and we're just happy to be here. And one last question. If people are sort of looking at it and thinking, oh, I might go, I might not go, what do you tell them to say, yes, get a ticket, come on in? You know, the thing that I, that I really love about our show is that it really is good for all ages. It's so family friendly. So everything from, you know, it's very affordable. We do offer a free child ticket with the purchase of an adult ticket. Um, and so the affordability aspect of it, but then when you come and see the show, there, there's something for everybody. Um, you know, there's these amazing apps with all these talented performers and artists. Um, and it's just a really fun time. The ticket booth is open at the Tony's Event Center parking lot and you can go to Tony's Event Center website and get tickets online. At their last meeting, city commissioners discussed options about people having signs within city meetings. City Attorney Greg Bankston is scheduled to present a resolution to that question at next week's meeting. The City Commission voted to move the South Light Pole in front of Yaya's instead of setting a precedent of allowing less than five feet clearance around sidewalk cafes. And the County Commission did not meet this week because of the Kansas Association of Counties meeting. Looking at other entertainment options that also are very educational. Science on Screen is a nationwide initiative to promote scientific literacy through entertaining. And you're going to get to be able to take a look at science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. All science on screen discussions are free and on Zoom, so you can enjoy them at the safety of your home. Some ideas coming up, alternating wind and direct sunlight. That's going to be happening Thursday, October. October 15th. Registration is required on these. It is funded by a grant from Coolidge Corner Theater and the Alfred P. Sloan Foundation and locally by Kansas Bankers Technology. Also on the schedule, are they sociopaths? Join the discussion with Dr. George Yurkovich and Dr. Paula Freed as they discuss sociopathic behavior and what it is. It's going to be at the Salina Art Center. It's connected to a film, but seeing the film is not required. That's going to be in October 19th, and registration again is required. And then also coming up, Spider Silk, an ancient biomaterial for the future. Uh, you can join Dr. Justin Jones, the director of the Spider Silk Laboratory in Utah, and again, that's on Zoom. That one's coming up October 26th. You can go to the Salina Art Center website to see further how you can join those topics. That's your Salina Media Connection News Desk. I'm Cerise Maddock. Have a good evening.